Hi, I'm Tammy with It's All About the Dogs and Noel with Noel Blair at Positive Directions Canine Academy. Hi. Hi. Today we're going to be talking about weight versus stay. It's yeah. important to know the difference and it's important to have those two commands, right? Yeah, it is. It's important to have a difference. Um, <laughs> most dogs get called from a stay. And stay for a dog means don't move. So dogs understand simple concepts of yes I can or no I can't, but that middle gray area of sometimes and maybe they really have trouble with. So it's important to keep those things separate. Mm -hmm. um, this can save your dog's life. Right. Yes, so stay is critical. For example, if your dog got away from you, you might want to use the word stay so that you can safely go up and grab them rather than having them come back across the street to you. Like if you're getting out of the car and they yes. squeegee past you and you didn't have time to grab their leash. Exactly. <laughs> That's happened to me before. <laughs> yeah. And the so. last thing I want to do is um, have my dog running amok. Yeah. And yeah. so stay is a very, very useful command. So I'm going to show you today um, how to train your dog so that they clearly understand the difference between a wait, which is very temporary, um, typically 30 seconds or less, and a stay, which is going to be longer than about 30 seconds. And it means the dog doesn't move, you're going to come back to him. Okay? Okay. So, we're going to use Lucy today as our cute little demonstration dog. And the first one that she's going to show you is a typical stay. Okay. okay? Come on, Luce. Come here. So, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, Tammy get her set up. She's going to put her in a sit, which is um, a sit. great control position. Almost every dog knows how to sit. Um, so, she's going to tell her to stay. And I tell my students when we're teaching the stay to use their right hand. So I have them say it with their right hand and then step off with their right foot. Lucy, stay. Stay. She's going to walk away. See how her body stays upright and it's not bent at all? You could even see Lucy kind of anticipate that maybe her mom wanted her. Okay, but girl. she understood yeah. enough to be able to stay where she was. Now we're going to show you what a weight looks like. So remember, weight is the temporary. Weight means wait here and then you can break it and come towards me. Or wait here and then you can get out of the car. You can also use it for dinner and a multiple of other things. So um, when we teach weight, we're going to use our opposite hand. So we take our left hand and jazz it up a little and tell them to wait. And then we step off with our right foot and we're going to leave the dog. Sit. Watch me. Wait. Now I want you to watch Tammy's posture here. She's going to okay. bend at the waist when she calls her dog. That is a huge indicator for the dog that they get to come with you. So if you want to rewind and watch this, upright position means don't come towards me. Bent and moving backwards means you can break and come with me. Okay? And Lucy's gone to watch her cats again. Yeah. She's, <laughs> obs she's obsessed with the resident cats up there. So. Yeah. She is. She's not interested in being our model very much. No. Um, but yeah, that's a really great, mm -hmm. it's really great. It helps a lot, especially yeah. if you want to be able to do something across the room mm -hmm. that you need to be concentrating on and not have your dog, have your dog in a spot. Right. Um, you know, I see a lot of people using stay for dinner time. You don't mm -hmm. want your dog right underneath you learning how to beg from your plate right. or having kids slip the dog your vet their vegetables. <laughs> Never happens. <laughs> no, never happens. I never did that when I was mm. little. <laughs> so having them in a stay is a great thing to, to practice during dinner time. Wait again is very temporary. Wait, put the dinner dish down for the dog and then let them get up and, and have it. Wait means you go through the door and then call the dog through. So again, it's a very temporary thing and movement shortly follows. Stay is more long term. And typically we go back to the dog and tell them that they're all finished when we tell them they're done. Just like I did with Lucy mm -hmm. in this demonstration. Yep. I patted her on the chest and told her she was good and that was it and she up she goes. Yep. So yeah. Good tips, Noelle. Thank you know, you, dear. Stay, stay tuned for more because we're gonna have more and uh, videos on our channels about training. Awesome. Little Thank shorts. You guys. If you want to go to uh, sign up for classes at Positive Directions Canine Academy, that link will be down there too. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. See you later.